Let's talk IPO. I'm your host Nikhil Mitchunani, and we're talking about Utkar Small Finance Bank IPO. The bank is set to enter the primary markets through initial public offer. The IPO consists of fresh issue of equity shares worth around 750 crore and an offer for sale to an extent of 600 crore by the promoter Utkar Core Invest. as stated in the rhp well prior to the ipo the bank raised a little over 240 odd crore through a private placement of equity shares kotak mahindra capital company served as the financial advisor for the private placement round uh, icc security along with kotak mahindra capital are the merchant bankers for the ipo while kfin registrar technologies will act as a registrar it is also worth noting that utkar initially Uh, filed an IPO in July 2021 and received regulatory approval in October. However, in August 2022, it refiled uh, the entire draft papers with SEBI, reducing the issue size by 63 percent to raise around 500 crore through the IPO. Now, let's understand a little bit about the Small Finance Bank, which is headquartered in Varanasi. Hotkar Small Finance Bank has recorded third. fastest grow uh, you know overall gross loan portfolio growth among the small finance bank exceeding with the portfolio exceeding a little over 6000 odd crore according to the present report the bank operates overall in 26 states and union territories with 830 banking outlets and 15424 employees as of march 2023 its customer base is to an extent of 3.59 million is primarily located in rural and semi urban areas particularly in bihar and uttar pradesh with account for 31% and 25.9% of its total cross loan portfolio respectively also once listed the bank will become the fifth small finance bank available for trading on the stock exchanges joining the likes of ajivan uh, au small finance equitas and suryoday for that matter Uh, now let's understand key things that you need to know about this IPO. The first one, of course, will be the price band. Uh, the price band for this small finance bank IPO is set to an extent of around 23 to 25 per share. Investors can bid in a minimum of 600 equity shares and in multiples of 600 shares thereafter. Let's also understand important dates. The IPO subscription will open on July 12th, close on July 14th, and the anchor would bidding. Will take place on July, and the potential listing date is July 24th. For that matter, IP reservation. Well, the qualified institutional buyers will have a reservation of not less than 75% of the offer, while HNIs will have a reservation of not more than 15%, and the retail category will be capped to around 10% of the overall issue. Let's understand what's going to be the how is the utilization of the proceeds essentially. The bank intends to use the net proceeds from the IPO. to augment its tier 1 capital base and meet future capital requirements now positive things or the key highlights that you need to keep in mind positive sentiment across the microfinance and small finance bank improvement in asset quality growth and profitability of small finance bank in the past year along with that the reduction of microfinance cross bad loans from 2.7% to 1.1% in fy23 uh, let's also talk about the deposit growth surpassing its loan book growth comparatively favorable net interest margin as compared to that of its peers uh, concerns there few of them that we'd like to list out is the low proportion of uh, the casa standing to an account of only 21% more reliance on the wholesale deposit in high prices compared to that of its peers concentration of loan book in bihar and uttar pradesh which have shown weak asset quality during downturns and along with that these are some few of the highlights that we've suggested both in terms of the positives and the concern with this it's a wrap thank you so much for tuning in